In this problem, we're shown a graph of f prime, the derivative of function f, and we're asked if f of 3 is equal to 3, then what is f of 1? Okay, note that we're shown the derivative of function f, and we're asked about function f. Now realize that function f will be the integral of the derivative of function f. So if y is some function of x, which it is, and that's not the function shown here, but y is some function of x, then the change in y will be given by a definite integral. And if we consider the integral from 1 to 3, which are the two x values I'm looking at here, the integral from 1 to 3 of f primed, the derivative of f, will be the change in the y value of function f. Now this we can calculate. We can find the integral of f prime. Function f prime is right here, but we don't really need to get the equation of this line, although you could, you could find the equation of this line and integrate it and evaluate it from 1 to 3. But what should be quicker and easier is to realize that this function is graphed right here, and the integral will be the area under the graph from 1 to 3. And that area, rather than, than actually integrating a function and plugging in the limits, we can calculate that area geometrically pretty easy. The area is just going to be 1 half base times height. It's a triangle. Okay, so the base here is 2. And then the height is going to be this y value. We just need to figure out what that is. So what's my y value? My y value right here. Well, this line has a slope of two-thirds. You can see we go up two for every three that we go over. So if we go over one, that means from here we've gone up two-thirds. So this is just one-third below negative one. So this is negative four-thirds right there. That's my y value. So the height right there is negative four-thirds. Okay, and that was pretty easy. And calculating this, the twos just cancel out, and we're left with negative four-thirds for that area. That number, that's the change in y from one to three. And then just realize what that means uh, as far as what's implied for this problem. y at one plus my change in y from one to three will have to be my y value at three. And we know the y value at 3, that's given as 3, and we just found the change in y from 1 to 3, that's negative 4 thirds, so y at 1, we can find this algebraically. Just solve this little equation. Okay, so just add 4 thirds to each side. y at 1 is 3 plus 4 thirds. And 3 is 9 thirds, plus 4 thirds will be 13 thirds.